Alrighty, what's going on everybody? My name is Blitzwinger and of course, welcome on back to another Let's Build episode. This is episode number two. Of course, the first episode was an absolute massive success. You guys were so tremendous with the likes and comments and sharing and favoriting and all your kind words on social media were absolutely incredible. So thank you all so very, 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 very much for that. Today we're going to be doing episode number two, which will feature, of course, set number 79118, a very small set, only 88 pieces, and it is titled Karai Bike Escape. Shouldn't be Karai's Bike Escape? That would make a little more sense, no? But nonetheless, uh, we're taking a look at some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles goodies, which is going to be quite lovely. Of course, I've printed off some of your awesome comments and questions, so we're going to get to those. Hopefully we'll get through all of these uh, in this video. And, uh, of course, as you guys know, leave comments in the uh, comment section below. And, of course, on an upcoming episode of Let's Build, I will pick out more comments from this video on episode 3 and then uh, use, the, use those for the next one. So, uh, that being said, let's get cracking on Karai's Bike Escape. Let me get this uh, open. Oh, look at this. Really nice art in the back here. I really love how good the uh, Lego art has gotten on these packages. It's just so cool. It's really, really neat. Now, I still don't keep boxes and all, but I know I probably should. Some collectors go, how dare you? You gotta keep the boxes. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't really care very much for that. Even though they are awesome, indeed. Look at that. Oh, why does that have like a whole bunch of dirt on it? That's a little bit strange. You guys see that? Look at that. Uh, that's a little weird. So yeah, uh, of course, the first episode was a massive success. Thank you guys so much. Seriously, I, I really uh, cannot appreciate it enough. And could not thank you guys enough because that was just an incredible, incredible reception. I mean, I think we hit over a thousand likes in less than 24 hours, which is one of the highest uh, liked videos I have ever uploaded uh, to the channel. So that's really incredible, and I really do appreciate the fact that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if we could do the same with this one, that would be spectacular. But of course, here's hoping. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, so let me just lay things out here. And then we'll get to a building stuff. So, uh, actually, let's begin with some comments. So, first question or comment is from the Lego Man. Oh, from the Lego Man himself. Oh, my. How cool. Oh, yeah, by the way, here's the booklet. Has some nice art. Okay, so let me get cracking on this. I'm just going to keep the booklet down here so that I can uh, have a good idea of what I what is it that I'm building. So, uh, Lego Man says, will you do or build, I guess, the Benny's Spaceship 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 set. Um, I would love to answer instantly and say, yes, absolutely. But then I start thinking about the fact that A, that set is very expensive. And uh, especially in Canada, if you didn't know, Lego sets in Canada are quite a bit more expensive. So look at that. She's got two different expressions right there. Mad and happy, or not happy, <laughs> I guess not mad. What is that by her? Does she always have that little dot there? Oh, I guess she does. She's like Marilyn Monroe. Uh, except I think Marilyn Monroe had it on the other side. But nonetheless. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a really cool hairpiece right there. Two-toned colored. Very nice. Okay. So, um, I think that I would do it maybe at some point down the line. It's just that it's more a case of... Uh, like for example, A, I wouldn't do it as a uh, as a Let's Build episode because that would just require a ridiculous amount of time. I think that that would probably be the longest video I would ever make. It, it would easily be in the uh, multiples of hours uh, to actually finish that build because it's huge. That set is really, really huge. But considering how much I love the Benny, I would love to get that set. But I just don't want to make any promises right now so that, let's say, we fast forward a couple months down the line and I have not acquired the set yet. And then everybody's going, well, you said you're going to get it and review it. So I don't want to commit myself to anything, but I would definitely, um, it's definitely on my radar because I, if you guys don't know, I've said it before, I, I want to collect all the Lego movie sets. So that's one of my kind of little goals. And if I can do it, that would be awesome. If I can't, then it is what it is. I'm not like super obsessed about it. Like I definitely would like to uh, for that to happen, but some of those sets are pretty expensive and some of them have already gotten rare. Uh, like I've had a bit of a hard time finding some of them. I really hope there's another Katana because I just dropped the one he held. There we go. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and put this one here. Now, this is a bit of an angrier and more beat up uh, Leonardo than the one that I've had before. So that's pretty cool. That's a nice looking character there. All right, so next question is Nick Lemoyne, who says, this is great, I hope you make more of these. Just like how, uh, I just liked how you described the movie at no point, 
uh, was I bored in the video? That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you for your very, very, very kind words. Uh, it really does mean a lot. And I mean, this is the kind of comments that are just so motivational to uh, obviously continue doing this and do it on a regular basis and such. Oh, look at that. There's an Apple sticker up at the top there. So this goes onto the skateboard. Now, if you guys know me, you know that I absolutely, positively stink at stickering things. Come on. Please. This is why whenever I see stickers in the Lego set, I'm like, oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Please don't get stuck. Okay. Whew. Okay, this is going to be torturous. Watch. I'm going to spend more time on this than on the actual build. Okay, come on. Oh. Come on, no, no, stay there, Apple! <laughs> Come on, walk with me! Please, Apple, please, please. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's not horrible. Oh, yeah, there we go. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. So, uh, there's that set. Next question is from Riley May. For everyone who has yet to see the movie spoiler alert so very very kind of you to actually put a spoiler alert ahead that's very nice I, I love when you guys do that kind of stuff when you're very considerate to other people i think that being considered is a very very good quality to have so thank you for doing so so again i'm about to read a question that might involve some spoilers for the lego movie so just be careful i'm gonna wave my finger like this once i'm done answering the question so that if you're interested uh, in not hearing it you could avoid it, obviously. So let's see what uh, he, I think it's he, Riley, or maybe it's a she, I'm not sure, but I think it's a he. Uh, so, for everyone, uh, da -da -da -da, then the question is, are you more like the dad who just needs, sorry, who needs everything in place with nothing mixing or combining, or like the kid who doesn't care about order or continuity and just use your imagination? Or are you a mix of both and in what ways? Wow, that is a fantastic question. Very, very nicely done. Great question there. And please, okay, it's a little crooked, but it's not horrible, so that's okay. I, I accept this. I accept this fate. So uh, I volunteer as tribute. So I would say that for me, personally, I am, uh, I guess I would be a little bit, actually, I was about to say that I'm like the kid, but then I thought about it, I'm like, no, not really. There are certain things that I am a little bit uh, particular about. Uh, for example, I have a couple of Hot Toys figures, and with those things, I am very much um, particular about how, how they have to stay in a glass shelf and stuff like that. Because those things are not really toys, they're a lot more collectibles, you know what I mean? And they really are because they're very expensive and such. So I like to keep them in pristine condition, or as good as I can possibly do it. Look at that, so we got a nice little safety uh, thing to put on the ground, that's pretty cool. Um, so that's what I try to do with those. But other than that, I'm like the kid because to me it's like like once I'm done some Lego builds and if I'm done messing around with it, I will literally just disassemble all the parts and toss them uh, all together. And then when I need when I want to mess with some Lego uh, pieces, I just pull it out and just start messing around. I don't really care that it's supposed to look like this set or this set because to me it's a Lego it's a building block toy which envi uh, involves obviously creativity and imagination. So. I would say that that was actually one of the big lessons that the father had to learn, right? Is that you got to remember that this is a toy at the end of the day and the, that you got to enjoy it and not take yourself so seriously uh, when you are playing with it. So look at this. We're assembling a pretty gosh darn cool looking bike here. It's just starting to come together, even though it kind of looks like a scooter, but still. Uh, so there we go. The finger wave of spoilerage is over now. <laughs> uh, Edgar Hernandez, will you make an intro for your channel? I would certainly uh, love to have an intro, but it's one of those things that, ooh, here we go. We're gonna apply this really cool piece now. All right, so I think this just clips onto there. There we go, look at that. That is an absolutely awesome little motorcycle there. That's pretty sweet. So uh, yeah, for me, the, the only reason really as to why I have not had an intro is just because when I started, I didn't have an intro, so I never really kind of bothered to get one. Because to me, it was like, oh, it's, you know, it is what it is. I've never gotten an intro and uh, it's never been a big issue to me. But I've noticed more and more people asking for an intro. So it's definitely something that I'm going to consider to add. I think this is supposed to go on to here, isn't it? It's supposed to be like here. I'm pretty sure at least. I really hope I'm doing this right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, that works. There we go. 
It's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. That looks pretty sweet. So there's number 44. I wonder if it has any significance at number 44 there. But uh, yeah, I'm actually, there's actually somebody who's currently working on an intro for me, which is pretty awesome of him. And uh, as soon as that is done, I'm gonna use it on some videos. I don't know, again, if I'll have intros on all the videos, just because I've gotten so used to just having the videos start up and, you know, with my patented at this point, already, what is going on, everybody? <laughs> My name is Blitzwinger. I'm so used to starting that way that I think it might be difficult for me to go to um, always having an intro. So I might do it on certain series again. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think on the subject matter. Whether or not you would prefer to see intros, not prefer to see intros. Uh, especially because you see the, the other thing with intros is like I feel that an intro has to make sense. Like it has to represent yourself kind of as a brand if we're talking about business. But at the same time, it has to be short enough. Like I can't stand videos where like I find a channel that I like, but they have such a long intro that I just get like turned away from watching the videos because I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to wait for the commercial to end. And then after the commercial, which I'm again, I'm not bothered by that usually because I always say that you get free content and that's why I don't, I'm not really bothered by it. But nonetheless, I don't want to get on that tangent. And, um, I don't like when the intro is too long and that's what I was always worried about is that my ideas for intros would end up far too long to the point of where it's just not going to be very kind of representative of what the Blitzwinger brand is or like the Blitzwinger name is. I don't like to say brand. Brand makes me feel dirty. <laughs> uh, but you know what I mean, right? Like I really wanted to make sure that if I make an intro, it was very, very representative, it was cool, and at the same time, it wasn't annoying or wouldn't get annoying if you were to be watching several videos one after another. So there's a lot of like careful things that you have to really consider uh, when you're doing that process. Ooh, look at this, we're assembling some blasters, guys. This is gonna be pretty gosh darn sweet. Okay, so, or assembling a blaster, not multiple blasters, unfortunately. However, even a blaster is pretty cool. Look at that, man. Karai's bike looks awesome. This looks like something that Blade would drive. This just looks cool. I'm kind of surprised we didn't put anything up front here. You would think there'd be a little headlight or something. Maybe there still will be, but at the moment there isn't at least. But it could be coming up. Who knows, who knows, who knows? Well, I don't even know. Uh, the only people that know is people who built this set or people who fast forwarded and came back to this point, or people who designed the set, or, okay, okay there's a lot of people actually that probably, oh, what am I doing? I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't supposed to put that there yet. Maybe, I don't even know if it goes there. I'm just kind of guessing at this point. All right, this is an interesting looking piece. It's kind of looking like a rocket maybe or something, I don't know. Okay, there it is. That, this is indeed gonna be the headlight. Cool, all right. So this just clips into place. So it looks like it's supposed to have like a little front light and then a blaster on the front of the bike. As if this blaster wasn't enough, you gotta have that blaster up front there as well. This is awesome though. This definitely looks cool. All right, so let's uh, move on to the next question. Oh, look at this. I never got this. Is it because the visors always break on Lego helmets or something? But for some reason, whenever you get one of these Lego helmets, like the bike helmets, you end up getting multiple visors with them, which I assume it's because these crack. They haven't cracked for me, knock on wood, but probably they do crack, as be, and that's why they provide you with a few. And look at that, you can even put the helmet on there. This is so cool, I love it. I love when the design is this well thought out. Okay, next question. Uh, Lego Je Jedi Ranger 328. Very cool, very cool name, Lego Jedi Ranger. Uh, what do you think will happen in the Lego Movie sequel in 2017? Yes, of course, if you didn't know, a Lego Movie sequel has indeed been announced, has indeed been confirmed to be in the works. Of course, the Lego Movie was a massive, massive financial success. And uh, obviously, is there, okay, I thought it was supposed to clip in, that's why. So there's Karai on the bike. And uh, obviously, it made perfect sense that they would make another one of the films. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. You can... Uh, have Leo riding his skateboard and attaching onto the uh, bike that Karai has here, onto Karai's bike, and ride along. Look at this. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Karai should be wearing a helmet just to be safe. Whoa, dude, this is totally radical. Okay, <laughs> I drove them off the screen. We'll take a look at them in a moment. So uh, let's see, now we're assembling a little corner stand, a street post and a corner stand. 
Okay, so let's carry on. Uh, question was, uh, what was the question? I completely just blanked out. I feel bad about that. Um, the question, the question, the, well, I'm skipping steps now. I'm, I'm going on to panic mode here. It's getting hot in this room, like cr 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 crazy, but nonetheless. Uh, the question was, uh, what will happen in the Lego Movie sequel? So, I don't know, I, I can't like specifically obviously say anything, none of us can specifically say anything, even probably the movie directors can't even say anything, because it's still a ways away, and um, they might have ideas. Of course, if you watch the end of the Lego movie, spoiler alert, you know that the uh, Duplo toys show up, so maybe they'll do some sort of a funny little scene with that and kind of expand the Lego movie. I, I just think that it's going to be a very interesting balance and a very interesting challenge, actually, to tackle uh, the Lego Movie 2 at this point, because when you think about it, where do they go next? Like, the father has learned his lesson, right? Like, he has learned uh, w what his son was trying to explain to him and kind of show him by acting the way he did. So, as a result of that, where do you go next? Like, how, how, where do you take the story next in a way that actually makes sense and um, kind of continue the adventure with Emmett? Will they leave Emmett behind? I doubt that. I, I really doubt that they would you know, turn their back on Emmett. Do they do the uh, Toy Story thing of where we fast forward many years and the kid kind of forgets about his Legos or something like that and then gives it to the next generation or something along those lines? Or who knows, maybe they do something where the kid gets older and he still plays with his Legos and kind of maybe him trying to teach his son uh, about Legos or maybe he actually becomes like his father used to be where he kind of becomes very paranoid about his Legos and forgets that it's supposed to be very creative and uh, it is a kid's toy at the end of the day and something along those lines. I, I mean there's certainly lots of possibilities but at the same time it's very interesting to see where they're gonna take it because there certainly is that challenge of how do you continue the storyline but don't just repeat the same film again you know how do you avoid it uh, from becoming kind of like Home Alone 2 where, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Home Alone 2, but the problem is, that's a weird comparison, I know, I'm just bringing that movie up because it's the one that came up in my mind right now, but Home Alone 2 was pretty much the exact same storyline, was the exact same script as Home Alone 1, but just set in a different city with a little bit of different circumstances. So how do you avoid that with the Lego movie? And uh, that's going to be a very interesting challenge. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what it is that they end up doing with it, and I think that it's going to be quite an intriguing, intriguing proposition indeed. So, uh, let me know, of course, what do you guys think? What do you think will happen in the LEGO Movie 2? What, what, do you guys want to see the return of Emmett? Or uh, do you think we won't see Emmett return? I doubt that we wouldn't see Emmett return. He was a huge hit, and obviously they managed to make him into a star, so... I really would be shocked, truly shocked, if they just avoided Emmett. I think we will we'll definitely start seeing more stars introduced as well. Alrighty guys, sorry about that. I've been blabbering on. I can't believe it's taking me longer to build this set than it is uh, the other set. So my camera had to cut it four gigabytes. It always cuts off, so sorry about that. Uh, but I just put the two pieces together. So basically this goes on top of this, and that's it. Uh, with the little stick underneath. So I guess it's gonna get pushed off. That's the idea behind that. So uh, yeah, let me know. I, I definitely love to know what you guys think and uh, what you guys think we're gonna see. Um, am I just supposed to push this onto here? Okay, that's very odd. It's very difficult to uh, understand how that's supposed to hold on there. Because it probably won't. Oh, okay, I see. All right, I see now, I see. You didn't tell me that that's what we're gonna do. This is cool. This is a little like news uh, paper dispenser. Nice. Sweetness. I like it. I like it quite a bit. It's looking quite cool. All right, so that's done with. So the next question is, uh, Ultimate Lego Master 73, will you ever get the layer set? It has some of the important characters, such as Vitruvius, Lord Business, uh, and it is just an awesome set. FYI, it costs $70. My goodness gracious. Wow, uh, I didn't realize it was such an expensive set, but uh, I will definitely still be getting it. Uh, it's definitely one of those sets that is kind of the next one on the list. So um, I think that that's probably gonna be actually the next set that I get is gonna be that one. Just because, like you said yourself, there are a lot of really important characters in that set and some characters that you can't get elsewhere. So um, I definitely will be going after it. Am I missing one piece? Oh no. Oh no, there's supposed to be another gray piece that goes up top and it's not this one, because this one's flat. 
Hi, carambas. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. And I don't see any other ones. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't see it. Oh, man, this stinks. This really does stink. Let me double check. Yep. And nothing in the baggies. Nothing in the baggies. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'll, I guess I'll just put this piece on top of here for now. And this is supposed to be obviously a fire hydrant. And uh, this is where it attaches, right over there. So let's carry on. So yeah, I'll definitely be getting it. Goodness gracious, this video is going to drive me crazy. <laughs> because it's so hot in here. And uh, on top of that, I am having a hard time finding pieces now. Okay, there we go. So, uh, final question. Final question I have written down on here. It is from Andrea Toledo. Did you know Spain lost in the World Cup? I guess this would be dating the video, but hey, it is what it is. Yes, I do in fact know that Spain have lost in the World Cup. If you didn't know the reason why this person had to mention it to me, because I was uh, supporting Spain. That was the team that I was cheering for. If Canada made it, I would obviously be supporting Canada. Uh, but I was, in this case, supporting... Um, Spain, I've been supporting them before they've won the World Cups or anything like that, so it's not like I'm, oh yeah, I'm a bandwagon or whatever it is that people call other people who support teams and stuff like that. I never got that anyway, because it's like, who cares if somebody supports somebody? What does it bother you in any way, right? But um, I would say that uh, it, it was definitely shocking, but I would also say that the Netherlands were a team that was absolutely phenomenal all the time and then this year it just seems like they're hitting their stride and uh, I wouldn't be surprised again at the time of this recording the World Cup is still going on but I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, either them or Germany who end up taking the whole thing so uh, this World Cup has been shocking overall I mean Portugal didn't play very well there's been lots of teams that have not played or fared very well in this particular World Cup. So uh, I would say that it's definitely been a very, very intriguing World Cup to watch. So uh, there you go. I think that is it. I think that's all we've built. We've built everything. We've got a couple of extra pieces left over right there. I'm just gonna slide those off real quick. Oh no. Now stuff keeps falling. Everything's flying everywhere. I'm starting to sweat. Oh, by the way, I found the final piece. Oh my goodness gracious. Now it's there. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave that for now. So uh, there we go, guys. There's the complete set here. Of course, we've got the uh, Leonardo here. Oh, wow, there's a couple of pieces behind this. Oh, they were hiding pieces for me. Leonardo, Leonardo, and of course, Karai were hiding pieces for me. But of course, this little set here also has this little watch. Bam! It destroys the newspaper launcher, because why not, right? Because we don't like newspapers, apparently. That's what this set is teaching you. They don't like newspaper stands. Let's knock them over. O over. I can't even talk. I can't even talk, guys. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm sorry if this Let's Build wasn't as smooth sailing as the last one. Honestly, the main reason for that is just because it's gotten really hot in this room. And there's these two ginormous lights right next to me. And... Uh, Man, oh man, oh man, it's really hot. So, that being said, there you guys have it. This will conclude another episode of Let's Build. If you guys enjoyed it, please smash that like button, share the video with your family and friends, and favorite the videos as well. And of course, stay tuned for plenty more awesome sauce Let's Build episodes, hopefully, in the very near future. At least not on very hot days. I need to record these like at late at night, so it's not hot. Yeah. All right, so I'll see you later, alligators. Bye-bye, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later, alligators. Bye-bye. Oh man, I really hope I didn't come off too whiny there, because it's just really hot. Sorry guys.